स्टूडेंट्स वेलकम टू ग्लोबल ऑनलाइन प्लेटफॉर्म द स्टूडेंट्स आर प्रिपेयरिंग फॉर अपकमिंग एम पी आई यूटीसी ने जून ट्वेंटी ट्वेंटी फोर एग्जाम फ्रॉम मैनेजमेंट और कॉमर्स सब्जेक्ट टूडेज वीडियो इज गोइंग टू बी वेरी मच हेल्पफुल फॉर यू इन दिस वीडियो वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस फोर्टी प्लस मोस्ट एक्सपेक्टेड एमसी क्यूज एंड पी वाई क्यूज थ्रू विच वी आर गोइंग टू डू क्विक रिविजन ऑफ अवर एंटायर सिलेबस ऑफ पेपर टू मैनेजमेंट वॉच दिस वीडियो कंप्लीटली दिस वीडियो इज हेल्प गोइंग टू बी वेरी मच हेल्पफुल फॉर यू विद द हेल्प ऑफ दिस क्वेश्चन यू विल गेट अंडरस्टैंड द कंसेप्ट properly your revision will get done and you will solve the questions correctly in your exam before starting there is an important information for you that the nta ugc net june 20, 2024 is about to over and if you want to prepare for the december attempt new batches are going to begin from 70 uh, 17 june you can join the batch the complete courses on commerce and management are available for you if you take the batch uh, course you will get uh, uh, daily live video lectures complete syllabus notes will be provided uh, full syllabus mock test are available for your practice 4000 plus mcqs will be provided pyqs with explanation will be provided and the biggest advantage is if you take the paper 2 course you will get paper 1 and totally free with all same facilities new batch is starting from 17 june the fees is 10000 but after discount of 20% you can get both the papers in 8000 only to join download the Global on an app from Google Play Store. Then, after login in the home interface, you click on the store button. Then, type UGC Net Paper to Management. Then, select the course, make the payment, and after making the payment, you will be able to access all the content of this, both Paper Two and Paper One. If you face any sort of difficulty, you can contact on the given numbers through WhatsApp. Let's begin with the question. So. here you have to match the list 1 with the list 2 in list 1 you are given with the scientific management administrative management bureaucratic management and total quality management on the another hand you are given with the unity of direction standardization and work simplification continuous improvement and strict environment in organizations so basically uh, the codes are given here to you try to match first on your own then i will tell so let's begin scientific management scientific management has there is a principle of one of the principle is mentioned here that is the standardization and work simplification okay means uh, fw taylor focus then proper standard work should be done in a proper way to follow by following the standards and it should be work should not be difficult in nature it should be simplified okay so this uh, first will go with b wherever is b everywhere is b so we will have to move ahead administrative administrative management in administrative the theory of henry fuel uh, uh, unity of uh, direction principle exists means uh, all entire organization or entire team members are moving towards a one common goal okay so b uh, two can be matched with a okay b a in two options we have then bureaucratic management states that uh, it uh, it was a very rigid uh, rigid theory and it focuses especially applicable to government organization where the environment is what where the environment is strict okay so this will this will be there and total quality management total quality management says what to provide the customer satisfaction through providing good quality products and improve on continuous basis okay so our right answer will be option number c that is b a d and c okay let's move to the next question which among the following is not the principle of good corporate governance accountability transparency sustainability and rigidity so here you have to tell first of all your attention should go here what is asked so not the principle of good corporate governance corporate governance is what when your um, uh, company is environment is under the surveillance and the, uh, they check that whether the all policies no rules norms are followed properly and the working is done properly or not so the four major principles are there so accountability is the principle okay transparency is also the principle there is no sustainability principle and no rigidity principle in uh, the principles of corporate governance there are four principles one is the accountability transparency then reliability and fairness okay so uh, here our right answer will be code uh, option number d that is a and b only okay okay sorry 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 we are right answer will be our option number okay so there should not be not okay why because 
the options are not here if uh, not uh, if if a principal not a principal so you can see that here sustainability and rigidity are not the principal so this option is not a and d this is c and d okay this option is c and d okay so option number b will be the right answer okay i will correct later on uh, so this uh, this option is b and uh, sorry c and d only so option number b will be your right answer in this question let's uh, move to the next question which of the following are correct for the monopolistic competition monopolistic competition is the concept which is uh, given by chamberlin and it mainly focuses on the uh, differentiation product differentiation is the main key theme so monopolistic for competition is characterized on the large number of firms okay large number of firms exist if in a monopolistic competition produce identical products are by identical products it is no it does not produce uh, identical products the products are differentiated in nature so b any how b cannot be in the answer okay b cannot be in your answer so here you can remove here you can also remove and here also uh, you can remove okay so your right answer will be option number c now let's see the what are the other statements are talking about there are low barriers okay entry barriers are low in the monopolistic competition and the forms in the monopolistic uh, this statement got incorrect why they produce different products not homogeneous in nature and the monopolistic competition have some degree of market power so this is also correct our right answer will be option number c a c n d o let's see the next question assertion reason based a negative cross elasticity of demand indicates that two goods are complementary in nature complementary goods are like car, like mobile and battery like car, car and petrol these are the complementary goods so here cross elasticity is what in case of such goods cross elasticity is negative and the when the price of the one good increases the quantity demanded for the other good does not decreases due to this not word due to this not word the reason got incorrect okay due to the not word the reason got incorrect if the uh, decreases directly it was there so then it was uh, okay and the uh, a option number a can be uh, uh, will be our right answer but here does not is written so here our reason got false and our assertion is true so option number c will be the right answer let's move to next question statement says that policy is um, policy is form of a general statements and procedure is expressed in more specific terms so this statement uh, is one of the elements of uh, planning planning and uh, uh, that these are the policies and procedures so policies are obviously the general statements and procedures are in specific terms okay specifically uh, in specific terms the procedures are to be determined okay so this one uh, our statement one is okay 100% correct now policy pro, sorry procedure is flexible in nature and policy is rigid in nature are bhai procedure cannot be flexible procedure is uh, quite uh, less uh, le comparatively less rigid but procedure can't be flexible in nature okay can't be flexible in nature for example uh, if i want to uh, doctor do wants to do a check up the process which he follows he can't change it from patient to patient okay uh, it will be uh, for or for if you want to visit any uh, you know, shop or whatever procedure is there you need to follow suppose if you want to withdraw money so the process is uh, stable okay it is not flexible so st our st statement one is correct but the statement two is incorrect let's see the next question here again the motivational theories on one hand and the another constituents are given on the list too so basically expectancy theory expectancy is the theory maslow's need hierarchy theory hertzberg two factor theory and mcgeezer's x and y theory on the uh, in below you are given with the codes and on the right hand side their components are given to you now let's see rooms expectancy theory will go with what go with the b that is valence instrumentality and expectancy wherever b exists in all option b exists let's move ahead mac maslow need hierarchy theory maslow need hierarchy consists of five needs physiological safety social esteem and self actualization so b uh, two will go with a then employ uh, hertzberg two factor theory hertzberg two factor theory consist of the hygiene and motivational factors okay hygiene factors and motivators so three will go with d 
and the last one douglas macgazer theory uh, x and y so this one two styles are followed one is the authoritarian and another is the participative okay so here your right answer become uh, option number c that is b a d c okay let let's see the next question arrange the following you have to arrange the rooms what on decision model in the correct order assess the importance of the decision then evaluate the um, level of employee involvement then determine the level of decision making authority and choose the appropriate decision making style so broom vatan yoga model is one of the contingency theory here how a leader takes a decision according to situation in the from this perspective you have to arrange all these processes all these steps in correct order in the ascending order so first of all what will be done assessment of the why the decision is important that will be assessed first okay so a a will be the in the beginning later on you will determine, you will evaluate the how much employee is going, going to be involved in your uh, in, in your decision so okay so b will be there then you will determine the level of decision making authority that will be determined and at the last you will cho choose the appropriate decision making style whatever style you want to prefer you will choose that style at the end so our right answer will be option number c it was directly straight forward a b c and d okay let's see the next question which of the following uh, learning theory focuses on the relationship between behavior and consequences behavior and consequences is what suppose if you have if you have meal on uh, if you uh, have meal uh, on time or late night your parent may scold you okay uh, on time they will uh, or if you cook the food well you will be appreciated but if you are uh, pu keep putting the salts in la ex extreme quantity you will be scolded okay so operant conditioning theory this is behavioral consequences theory is the operant conditioning theory social learning theory is given by b f skinner social learning theory is given by bandura this is related to what how a person learns from the society cognitive learning theory by thrundike this is related to what this is related to cognitive learning how a uh, learner the person seeks for knowledge from his mind and classical conditioning this is sr theory stimulus response theory in which we have studied the dog experiment uh, of um, learner okay so option number a operant conditioning theory will be the right answer let's see the next question the five factor model of personality include traits such as openness conscientiousness extroversion agreeableness and neurotism and the five um, P five factor model also known as big five personality trait comprehensive model that describes the human personality using the five broad dimensions now one is the assertion and another is the reason see here it is also talking about the five uh, factor model and here the factors are written one that is the personality um, the pers of personality which are includes what openness comprehension uh, new is extroversion agreeableness and neurotism here five factors are written and here the it is talking about what these are associated with so assertion and reason both are correct and a uh, r is the correct explanation of a okay let's see the next question here you are given with the you have to define best defi definition of the organizational culture the hierarchical structure of the organization the system of shared beliefs and values guiding behavior in the organization then the financial performance of the organization and the physical layout of the organizational office space so basically 41 can't be there okay 41 will not be there then financial performance of the organization this has no relation uh, with the organizational climate organizational climate is what it is a system where the shared beliefs values guiding behaviors in an organization how they are shared among the employees and the management and employees and employees or be, uh, among the individuals or the members so this is the organizational option number b will be the right option which describes the organizational culture uh, correctly okay let's see the next question here you are given with the types of conflicts with their description interpersonal conflict intra group conflict inter group conflict and organizational conflict so basically if you are getting confused 
somewhere here so basically take from the go from here to here go from here to here or conflict that um, encompasses the entire organization a conflict is occurring in the end within the entire organization so this will be what this will be organizational conflict okay this will be what this will be organizational conflict now you can remove this two options from here now let's see the intergroup intergroup means what when the conflict is occurring among two groups okay two different group group a group b here uh, conflict is occurring so this is the intro group suppose a has a in a group there are seven members and they are um, having conflict among themselves so this is what this is the intra group conflict and intra personal means what suppose uh, uh, there is a person and b person and the conflict arises among them so this is what this is intra personal conflict okay so uh, if you check from the here uh, intra personal conflict will be what conflict between uh, two uh, two individuals okay this will go with this then intra intra group conflict among the uh, occurs within a single group uh, or team okay and intra group conflict conflict between the two uh, different groups so our right answer will be option number uh, c um, this is this will be op uh, option number b will be answer that is one will be match with c two with a then three with b and fourth uh, one with uh, d okay let's move to the next question the 360 degree feedback method involves collecting performance feedback from the employee subordination peers supervisor and sometimes external sources the reason says the 360 degree feedback methods ensure that only positive feedback is considered the uh, in the appraisal process so here the 360 degree feedback method involves the collecting performance feedback from uh, employee subordinates peers supervisors and sometimes external sources also so the assertion is totally correct but here what it is so is saying that the 360 degree feedback method ensures that only positive feedback is considered um, by in the appraisal process the by some if someone has a positive is if someone suppose uh, you are providing wrong products to the customer your people people in your organization are saying that you are working well management is happy with your work but if you are, the customer is not happy he will he is also external source na so due to this only word only word the only positive positive and negative both should be collected under the 360 degree appraisal okay so due to this option only word the reason will go wrong but most probably here the answer will be option number c okay uh, it's accurately our answer is uh, assertion is true and reason is false why the reason got false due to this only positive okay let's see the next question which among the following statements about the industrial relation is not incorrect here you have to tell which among the following statement are not incorrect regarding the uh, industrial relation industrial relations only involves the relationship between the employers and the employees in the manufacturing sector industrial relation refer to the relationship between the employers and employees including their organization and with then through which these relationships are conducted then industrial relation focused solely on solving conflict through strikes and lockouts and basically the industrial relationships are only concerned with the legal aspects of the employment now let's see try to identify the incorrect statement first of all start, we will start from the bottom uh, from the last one industrial relationship focus uh, concern with the legal aspects of uh, employment are bhai nahi this is concern with the all aspects of employee from both the management side also and employee side also so d will not be the correct option industrial relation focus solely due to this solely word this option got incorrect okay it does not uh, uh, strikes and lockouts are not only the major there are so many majors which are taken to resolve the conflict okay now let's see the second one industrial relation becomes the employee and the employer and their organization and institutes through which the relationships are con conducted so 
suppose a trade union represents the worker and employers association represents the uh, management okay so basically here um, the b statement is uh, all around correct but let's verify once again the c here also only word is mentioned so a will not be there our right option will be option number b uh, industrial relation refers to the relationship between the employers and employees including their organization and the situation through which the uh, sorry and the institution through which these uh, relationships are conducted okay option number b will be the right answer let's see the next question which of the following is not the benefit of employee training here you have to read the question carefully what asking it is not the benefit of employee training increased turnover rates then uh, decreased employee satisfaction improved employee performance and productivity and increase in the employee enthusiasm so basically it is asking about not the benefit not benefit means what somewhere limitation or drawback it is asking about so if you are giving training will your turnover rate increase no if it is written sales turnover so that in that perspective it could might have got correct but here turnover rates is written so means employees leaving your organization so this is not correct it will increase the enhanced uh, uh, satisfaction not it will decrease okay so two is also correct uh, incorrect now if you see improved employee performance okay obviously you are giving training his performance and productivity will enhance and employee enthusiasm will also enhance increase due to training okay so here the incorrect options are option number d a and b only let's see the next question here you have to uh, put the steps in the correct sequence of effective succession planning okay for effective succession planning you have to rearrange the steps properly in correct order here you are given with identifying the potential candidates for key position assessing current leadership capabilities and future needs then the developing leadership skills and competencies then implementing the development plans for high potential employees and evaluate and adjusting succession plans as needed so basically let's try to understand what it is talking about this is the, how we can make this question correctly so anyhow you try to solve it evaluation and the adjusting the succession plans as needed this will come at the end okay this will come at the end and first of all you will need do need to do what you will need to do proper uh, assessment of current leadership capabilities for, and future needs will be assessed in the beginning okay so b will come in the beginning e will come at the end okay so now these two options are out of questions now let's see the next one after that you will identify the potential candidates which are uh, suitable for the key positions this will be done later on you will um, directly um, you will uh, develop the leadership skills and competencies then implementing the development plans and high potential employees okay and at last evaluation and adjusting that is right answer for this question is option number a okay option number a will be the right answer okay by mistake it got uh, see here right answer is option number a only because unless and until you don't uh, develop you can't uh, implement it okay let's see the uh, next question the primary role of uh, conciliation officer in industrial dispute resolution is to arbitrate between the parties enforce the decisions of the labor court mediate and facilitate the settlement of the between the prime between the parties and conduct investigation uh, into dispute so conduct investigation into dispute this is a very narrow perspective okay so this is this will not be the primary role it is asking about the conciliation officer he is the conciliator helps to uh, acts as a mediator and facilitate in the settlement of the dispute arbitrator between the parties uh, this will not be there and enforcing the decision of labor court this is not done by the conciliation officer the primary function here is mediator and facilitates uh, settlement between the parties okay option number c will be the right answer let's see the next question which uh, accounting convention states that the financial statement should be prepared using the similar methods and principles from period to period 
okay this type of questions we have already done so don't make it wrong materiality say materiality consistency prudence conservatism conservatism associated with anticipation of losses in advance so this will not come here you have to give an int similar methods of principle from period to period okay so this will not be uh, this will our hint prudence is same as conservatism the conservatism is also called as principle of prudence okay so this will not this two will not come materiality record only those things which have a monetary value everything you are, you are buying a 2 rupees pen you can't record it according to the accounting concepts and uh, convention okay the right option here will be option number b that is the consistency okay consistency will be our right answer let's move to the next question you are given with the current ratio debt to equity ratio group uh, gross profit margin and return on equity on the another hand you are given with the respective definitions uh, or the respective purposes of the ratio and below here you are given with the codes let's try to make it now again move from here to here okay again move from here to here first of all we will see the current ratio current ratio is what current ratio measures the efficiency of the company's operation in generating profit from its equity okay this will uh, this can't be there for the one one current ratio can be matched with the indicates the company's ability uh, to fulfill its short term obligations with short term assets okay with short term assets so this will um, this will be the uh, option number uh, one will be go with d wherever it is starting here is a single option which is starting from d that is option number b okay this will be our right answer but now let's see in this question in detail current ratio we have i just told you that it's a current asset upon current liability it is the company ability to pay the short term obligations with the short term assets okay now debt to equity ratio debt to equity ratio is what it indicate associated with the capital structure of the company means how much proportion of debt and equity is used uh, by the company to finance the uh, its fixed asset okay so this will be Uh, this is a financing so debt equity ratio will be matched with the um, b statement two will be matched with b gross profit margin gross profit margin it measures the what percentage of the e sales uh, in um, dollar, um, dollar remaining after the uh, after carrying um, covering the cost of goods sold okay cogs gross profit margin is what sales minus cogs okay now return on equity return on equity measures the what it measures the efficiency of the company's um, operations to in generating the profits from its equity whether the company is able to generate profit from our equity or not this is uh, seen through the gross uh, the return on equity ratio okay this is also termed as return on capital employed option number b will be the right answer let's see the next question assertion says the cash flow statement includes the non cash item such as depreciation the reason says the um, cash flow statements provides information on the company's ability to generate cash from its operation okay means you might have seen that depreciation is not is excluded you in the operating activity we uh, see the depreciation uh, in the operating activity it is shown okay but the reason says uh, so one way assertion is totally correct the reason is what the cash flow statement here you have to first of all make the cash from cash generated from the operating activities so that's why the depreciation which is a non cash that is also shown in the cash flow statement so here your assertion and reason are both correct and reason is valid uh, reason is not the correct explanation of uh, a okay reason is not the correct explanation okay option number uh, b will be the right answer let's see the next question statement one says capital structure refers to the way a company finances its operation through mix of equity and debt and statement two says a company's financial structure includes the capital structure as well as the other financial obligations and assets so basically here this statement is difference differentiating among the financial and capital structure of the company so one is totally correct company finances is uh, so uh, operations through equity and debt this is done through capital structure it's correct company's financial structure includes the capital structure as well as the other financial obligations and assets means both short term and long term sources are considered in the financial structure so both statements are one and two are correct here so both statements are correct will be the right answer 
let's see the next question here you have to what are the reasons behind giving more preference to to the net present value method in the capital budgeting here you have to tell time value value of additivity then cash flow estimation and the in to um, measure of true profitability so basically profitability has a um, the method of capital budgeting which has uh, which has concern with the profitability is the average rate of return okay profitability here it is not concern in context of uh, uh, the net present value net present value considers the time value of money a will come value additivity we add the value so this is uh, also considered and uh, this measure of true profitability true profitability it will also come. okay it will also come cash flow estimation no sorry this was i said in the beginning profitability is concern why because uh, a and b two projects are given to you two and two projects are given to you and if npv is less here and npv is more here where you will invest the money you will invest the money in that product which will give you greater return with which which has a greater npv so profitability here was uh, true profitability will be considered but cash flow estimate here it is not payback uh, here estimation of cash flows is not preferred okay uh, sorry for the uh, beginning of the question uh, so true pro true profitability with the con will be considered it is considered why the reason i told if a, if a two projects are being compared the project having a greater npv is particularly chosen means it estimate it's an estimate that it will give further greater returns or greater returns is what it's our profit a b d will be our right answer let's see the next question which elements are required in the best method of calculating of cost of capital equity capital so risk free rate market rate, risk premium beta of the financial firm share and book value of the firm this best method of capital by uh, cap, uh, cost of equity computation is the what is the capm capital asset pricing model here what it requires it is asking so it doesn't require book value beta is there okay beta is there risk premium is also there and risk free rate the risk free rate is also exists so our right answer will be option number b a b c only okay let's see the next question here the assessor says forward contracts are customizable agreements between the two parties to buy or sell an asset at a specified future date for the price agreed upon today and the for reason says forward contracts are traded on organized exchange and have a standardized terms so here you are given with both assertion and the reason are correct and reason explains the assertion correctly both assertion and reason are true but the reason is not correct explanation of a then assertion is true reason is false and assertion is false but the reason is true now try to understand the forward contract this is what suppose uh, two one is a for one person is farmer and another person is the wholesaler they are making contract among themselves he says ki whatever uh, crop will be grown in the uh, three month next three months i will come after three months and uh, take uh, take it from you at a pre, pre pre fixed price okay pre fixed price so basically two parties are there they sell assets at a specified future date he will come and take the crops in the future after three months when the crops are grown but the agreement is done in the beginning so these are customized uh, customized in nature okay so assertion is totally correct if you see the reason for for forward contract are traded on the organized exchange rates are bhai this does not take, uh, take place in the bsc nse so this will not come okay it is not uh, change in the stock market not target that are the future contract okay they have standardized term so the terms are un, not well standardized okay if there is a chance of default in uh, uh, forward contract so uh, option assertion will be correct reason will be incorrect okay option number c will be the right answer a is true or is false let's move to the next question which among the following best describes the script dividend so script dividend here dividend is the part of profit which a company distributes to its shareholder we all know this so dividend paid in the form of cash this will be cash dividend not the script dividend dividend paid in the price of additional share this will be uh, you are issuing bonus share so this will be stock dividend 
okay now let's see a dividend paid in the form of company's products or services this can be property dividend okay this will not come but the dividend paid in the form of a promissory note you are making the promissory note and giving it and uh, later on you are determine uh, saying that the company will give you the dividend uh, in the later date uh, so this will be the from uh, script dividend okay option number c will be the right answer for uh, right best explanation of the script dividend let's see the next question Walters model suggests that the uh, optimal dividend payout ratio is determined by the relationship between the firm's internal rate of return (IRR) and the cost of equity. Reason says the Walter Walter model: if IRR is um, greater than the cost of uh, cost of equity, the firm should retain earnings, fund new investment rather than paying dividends. So basically, if you see here. Walter model generally um, in Walter model cost of return earning is considered or overall cost of capital we can say but here equity word is mentioned so it doesn't matter why because if you check rest of the reason so Walter says what if the IRR means the three conditions which we study a growth form decline form and normal form so if the IRR has is greater than K here the company will do what will retain all the profit and use it for for further uh, per enhancement in the business okay so here the assertion and reason are both the correct explanation uh, uh, both are true and reason correct uh, expl explains the assertion correctly okay option number a will be the right answer let's move to the next question in the mckinsey 7s framework which element refers to the for forms and formal and informal uh, procedures that govern everyday activities means it is saying that any organization may have a uh, procedures for it may be formal or informal uh, for regular activities so structure is not it is concerned with the organizational structure style this may be working style leadership style whatever strategy this is used for the long term course of action but here the most appropriate will be the system system in system the pro procedures for everyday uh, for uh, way in formal or informal will be determined okay option number b system will be the right answer for this question let's see the next question which of the following statements are accurately describes the uh, introduction stage of the product life cycle sales growth is slow and profits are minimal or negative uh, due to the high marketing and production cost then sales growth is rapid and company begins to earn substantial profit sales peak and the market becomes saturated and the sales declines and the company's books divest or phase out the product so here from in the product life cycle you have to think from the introduction stage what can happen so sales decline sales decline occurs in the decline stage sales at that peak are the maturity stage okay and market becomes saturation the saturation point comes here the company need to diversify its product lines okay then sales growth is rapid this is of uh, this is observed under the growth phase so this will also not come the main uh, correct answer will be sales growth is slow profits are minimal negative uh, due to high marketing and production cost in the negative uh, sorry in the uh, introduction pro phase when the product is introduced in the market which is new to make the customer ever uh, sorry aware about the product company needs to spend lots of money in the promotion and marketing activities so option number uh, a will be the right answer for this question let's see the next question again the assertion and reason the value chain model developed by michael potter helps in organizational um, identifying the specific activities where they can um, they can create value for the customer the reason says the value chain um, model consists of primary activities and support activities that collectively contribute in the company's margin okay now let's see on in both the context the value chain is being discussed in both assertion and reason the value chain model developed by the michael potter helps the organizational model specific activities which can be uh, create value for the customer the main purpose for value chain model is value creation itself so assertion is totally correct here the activities are categorized in two parts one are the primary activities and another are the su support activities this is also correct okay now and this both 
primary plus support this focuses on value creation that is the margin so here if you check by putting because so uh, yeah, your assertion and reason are true and reason is correct explanation of the assertion let's see the next question what does the term third party logistic 3pl uh, or tpl refers to companies that provide uh, transportation and warehousing services to other companies then manufacturers that produce the goods uh, and, the, and for third party retailers retailers that sell the products and manufactured by the third parties and suppliers that provide raw material to the manufacturer so third party logistic logistic is no doubt it is related to the transportation but from the question perspective try to use elimination method where you can get suppliers product the raw material for manufacturer this is not correctly okay retailer sell the products by manufacturer by third party how a retailer are by manufacturer to wholesaler to retailer the distribution flows in such me okay so this is inverse so this will not be there okay now manufacturers that produce the goods for the third party um, retailers this is not also incorrect and but the correct option will be these are the companies which provides the transportation and warehousing services or warehousing facilities to other companies these are using the concept of the third party logistics okay option number a will be the right answer let's see the next question what is the main purpose of the just in time git inventory management to reduce the lead time to increase the inventory levels then to minimize the cost uh, associated with the holding inventory and, and to enhance the product quality just in time technique focuses on what here but the production is done in such way that the cost which is incurring in production should be low and with the holding uh, if a company is holding its inventory that the cost uh, should also be low so it is not, not uh, related to you know, not only focus on lead time it is not only focus on in, uh, increasing the inventory level it also doesn't focus on the increasing in the product quantity the right answer here is option number c that is it minimizes the cost associated with the holding inventory okay means let's see the next question which among the following statement is a false statement you have to true uh, you have to tell which are false false means incorrect the bcg matrix categorizes the business units into four uh, four categories star cash cow uh, question mark and dogs this is correct so no doubt about it question mark represent the business units with high market share and low uh, low market growth okay now if you see from here this is true this is incorrect why because the question mark in this case the market share is not high but the market growth rate is high market growth rate is high it is written incorrectly dogs generate steady cash flows with high market share and low growth market rate so dogs do not generate steady cash flow this is generated by cash cows and divestment strategy is adopted in the um, uh, unit uh, dog category uh, so this is also correct so our right answer it is the false statements here are option number d that is b and c only okay option number d will be the right answer let's move to the next question assertion says acres brand equity model includes the brand loyalty brand awareness uh, perceived quality brand association and the proprietary brand assets now even though a pyramid shaped five asset model or acre brand equity model includes all these things brand loyalty brand awareness perceived quality um, brand aware, uh, brand association and proprietary based asset so this is totally right but the reason says what brand loyalty in acre model is refers to the emotional attachment of the customer um, have to the brand this is loyal to they are lo loyal to so this is also correct but the reason is not correct oh, wait, just a second brand loyalty in acre brand equity model emotional attachment of the customer have to the brand okay this is not correctly this is comes this refers with the association okay this is related to association not the loyalty so therefore the assertion will be true and the reason will be false okay option number c will be our right option 
let see the next question according to the family decision making model of consumer behavior uh, there are total six types of uh, roles uh, played in a family to influence the consumer buying behavior family decision making model one is the initiator you to you user or ultimate consumer so basically first of all the roles are what the decision making uh, are who are the participant one is the user preparer influencer gatekeeper decider and the buyer so this five uh, six people are involved in the family decision making model of consumer behavior and this uh, this is also influence the total uh, six types and which influence the, the in how a family influence the consumer buying behavior that has been told in the, the family decision making model so here your both statements are true okay let's see the next question the economic model of consumer behavior is based on which effect so economic model no it is ipe okay sorry ips ips means what income effect price effect and substitution effect it is written what price effect uh, promotion and substitution so due to promotion this got incorrect due to cost and price so this got it correct and due to sub, uh, the demand effect this got incorrect the right option is will be option number b income effect price effect and substitution effect isp or ips you can remember like that option number b will be our right answer let's see the next question which of the following best describes the primary objective of the customer relationship management to expand the company's physical infrastructure this will not be there customer relationship management is what you are making good relations with our uh, with your customers okay developing new products and services this is not really it is talking about the relationship and uh, this is this is related to development of products and services so this is not you will understand what they need first and then you will develop okay so this is not correct incorrect one and the production efficiency of the company so uh, crm is mainly customer centric so it, it mainly focuses on the current and potential customer and enhancing relationship enhancement is the main concern of the crm okay so here our right answer will be option number b the, the, to enhance the relationship with the current and potential customer let's see the next question which among the following is correct uh, in context of the correlation coefficient here you have to tell the incorrect one okay means wrong one you have to say the coefficient of correlation exists between the zero and plus one are by minus one to plus one so this will not be there incorrect okay now the coefficient of correlation is independent of change in origin and scale means plus minus karo multiplication divide karo it will have no effect it is independent of all these things so second second is correct now coefficient of correlation is uniplus this is also correct and the correlation coefficient between the two variables is symmetrical okay same suppose a, uh, a is b a is related to b so in similar way b will be also related to a okay so uh, sim uh, symmetrical relationship will be observed among the variables okay so option number uh, a um, a will be the right answer okay let's see the next question which among the following statements are false regarding the independent uh, sample t test independent sample t test you have to see see which of the statements are false it uh, it compares the means of the two independent groups definitely it compares okay it has assumes that the variance of the two groups are equal variances of the uh, two groups are equal also considered it uses pooled variance um, pooled variance when the assumption of equal variance is met this is also considered but it can be used when the sample size are extremely small when there is a when there is a normality assumption uh, violated see here till here it was right sample size is less than 30 in that way you can use the t t, t test okay but here it is saying what the assumption normality assumption is violated how you can use this you can't use this okay so option number c c only will be our right answer okay let's see the next question Where, this is which okay which of the following statements about that tqm is true 
TQM is not only applicable to manufacturing organization. No, it is only also applicable to service organization. TQM requires the involvement of all employees in the organization. This is correct. TQM focuses on blaming the individuals for quality problem. अरे भाई कैसी बात कर रहा है? So uh, for quality problems, individuals uh, are not blamed. The TQM main objective of TQM is it is asking. So it is not related to any blaming concern. And it is a one-time project that can be employed and forgotten. अरे भाई this is not an asset which you are bringing and using and just forgotten. It is based on it works on continuous basis. So the right answer for this question is option number C. it requires the involvement of the all the employees in the organization let's see the next question which among the following are the objectives of sark okay sark you might have heard um, sark is what the south asia so south asian association of regional corporation okay uh, and this headquarter in where headquarter in Na nafta how many observers are there eight observers and member countries are also eight now let's see to improve the standard of living uh, and um, welfare of the people of the south asia this is the objective then to boost the economic growth and social progress and cultural development in the region this is also correct then to promote the self reliance among the countries of south asia and to contribute to the mutual trust understanding and application of each other problems so here if you see all the four are concerned with the objectives of sark so here the right option will be option number c that is a b c and d okay all are the objectives let's see the next question which among the following statements are not correct with replace to theories based on worldwide trade are bhai worldwide trade it is not uh, it is indirectly telling about the uh, international trade theory the new trade theory incorporates the economies of scale and uh, network effects into the uh, trade models obviously the it has related to it has talked about the economies and scale and also the networking effects on the trade model so statement one is totally correct say it suggests that the uh, countries can gain uh, a comparative advantage through first mover advantage so uh, new trade theory has also focused on this okay now if you see new trade theory challenges the traditional views um, arguing in the market and monopolistic competition that can influence to the trade pattern okay so here the right answer will be a b and c only are the right answer okay all the three statements are correct and what it is asking about not correct not incorrect okay not incorrect simply means what not incorrect means simply means which are correct option number d will be the right answer a b and c only now let's see here you have to arrange the following modes of entry into the international market in the correct sequence of increasing commitment of resources means how you are how you potentially you can use this the resources available in the international beyond your domestic boundary so exporting exporting uh, you have to arrange in the correct order sequ increasing order okay so first of all in wholly owned subsidiaries you can um, allocate all the resources use all the resources so this will uh, be at the end okay this will be at the end wherever b at the end so here only one option is there where the b is at the end so this will not be there this will not be there this will not be there first of all it will begin from the exporting then joint venture will come and at the line uh, equity share uh, sorry wholly owned subsidiaries where you are uh, taking over the equity shareholders of the company that is the wholly owned subsidiary exporting is what suppose you are manufacturing in your country and exporting to another country joint venture or two independent companies are working uh, coming together for specific purposes after pur fulfilling the purpose they will be get separated okay option number c will be the right answer let's see the next question which among the following statements are um, true about uh, about the imf uh, imf loans is true imf loans are typically interest free imf loans are only provided to developing countries imf loans are conditional in the implementation of uh, economic reforms and imf loans are not subject to repayments are bhai loan you are talking loan so you will need to repayment 
ओके यू विल नीड टू रिपे मे इट इज टिपिकली इंटरेस्ट फ्री अरे भाई इन केस ऑफ एल डी सी लीज डेवलप कंट्री अ कंट्री में गिव लोन ऑन लीस्ट इंटरेस्ट रेट ओके नॉट इट विल बी इट विल नॉट बी इंटरेस्ट फ्री देन आई एम एफ लोन ओनली प्रोवाइडेड टू डेवलपिंग कंट्री नो टू बोट डेवलप देन डेवलपिंग कंट्री इट इज प्रोवाइडेड सो अवर राइट आंसर विल बी ऑप्शन नंबर सी आई एम एफ लोन आर कंडीशनल ऑन इंप्लीमेंटेशन ऑफ इकोनॉमिक रिफॉर्म्स ओके so option number c will be the right answer then which among the following statements about the foreign trade policy is true foreign trade policy is a government policy that regulate the import and export of goods and services okay then let's see the next one it is only applied to the trade between the countries that are members of the world trade organization are bhai it is uh, applicable to worldwide trade okay so this is the totally incorrect now foreign trade policy is primarily concerned with the uh, growth and promoting imports boost uh, domestic <coughs> consumption are bhai any country of any any foreign trade policy or, or any exim policy of a country mainly first focuses on boosting of exports okay boosting of exports and reduction in import okay so see, see also what incorrect and foreign trade policy does not have any impact on the country's balance of payment are bhai it has impact on the balance of payment okay so option number a will be the right answer a will only be the right answer that is foreign trade policy is a government policy that regulates the import and export of the goods and services let's see the next question assertion says uh, the agreement on trade related aspects of actual proper, uh, intellectual property rights lays sets down the minimum standards for the regulation of the various forms of intellectual property trips aims to ensure that the intellectual property rights are protected and unenforced in the manner that does not um, impede trade okay let's see the assertion first trade related in, uh, aspects of intellectual property rights strip set down the minimum standards what are the minimum standards for regulation of various forms of intellectual property this is totally assertion is totally correct now if you check the reason trip same set ensure that the intellectual property rights are protected okay till here it is okay and unenforced due to this unenforced word the reason guys this is this should be what this should be only enforced not unenforced okay an uh, enforced manner that does not impede the trade okay so due to that an enforced word the reason got incorrect so here your assertion is true but the reason is false let's see the next question statement one says msme are classified based on the criteria such as investment in the plant and machinery and equipments and a turnover whatever the turnover in the companies micro small and medium uh, medium enterprises classification is the, on based on the criteria as well as what are your investment in plant and machinery so these two parameters are taken into consideration and the government of india has entered in the msme d means micro small and medium enterprise development act 2006 to promote then develop the msme so this is also correct the both statements um, are correct okay here the both statements are true will be the right answer for this question so that's all for your uh, today's session i hope you enjoyed the questions if you like the session just hit the like button and click the subscribe button